I hope you're all doing well. Something I really want to cover with a lot of passion from when I studied nutrition are sugars. It's a really hot topic in terms of health and nutrition. A lot of misconceptions around sugars, in particular with the mono and the disaccharides, which are the big six basic sugars, which cover things like lactose, sucrose, fructose, galactose. The two core things we need to discuss when it comes to sugars are what we call intrinsic and extrinsic. That's how the new legislation really needs to dissect these to the public to ensure clarity and an understanding of sugars. So I've got some examples here. So we've got what we call extrinsic sugars. Extrinsic sugars are sugars that are processed and abstracted from a natural food product and when we call it an extrinsic sugar, the technical term for that, which is very confusing, is NMES, which is non-milk extrinsic sugar. So just think about, forget about the NM, the non-milk, but just think of it as an extrinsic sugar. And we've, we've evolved over time to, to enjoy sugary things because it's how we've evolved in terms of getting that rich, energy-dense foods. And that's why we like a lot of things with a lot of sugar, you know, and the food manufacturers so over the years produce foods that are very energy rich, combine these with fats and sugars and then you get a, a very, you know, satisfactory, rewarding, the, the pal palatable fats with the sugars is very uh, rewarding to the brain but not essentially good for our health and we're now having to revert over these things that we've done, the damage has been done so now we're having to consider new things in the future. But just looking at some of the extrinsic sugars, prime example, white sugar. And we've got things that have sugar but are like syrups or toppings. That's indefinitely an extrinsic. Even this maple syrup is, is extrinsic, it's been extracted. And then we have golden syrup, which is indefinitely extracted too. So let's just categorise these. That's your extrinsic. Now let's look at some, what we call intrinsic sugars. So intrinsics is found naturally within the cell wall of a food. And that's what makes it intrinsic, the sugars within. So this is a prime example. We've got an apple, and then we have an orange, we have a lemon. Now these contain monosaccharides, which are basic sugars, which are come in the form of fructose. Let's look at fructose. So fructose is the sugar molecules that are found within fruit. And these are found in, 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 in chains of, of glucose in different forms that form sugars and in essence carbohydrates. So extrinsic sugars are in essence processed foods to extract that sugar. Whilst human beings can manipulate food products for good and for bad, in terms of food manufacturing and the way we process foods over, over hundreds of years. And in, in that sense, what we do is we extract the juices. For, and it's great to extract these, it's all good. You know, so we've got, this here is a pink grapefruit juice, and here is your pink grapefruit. So what we've done here is we've squozen that, but not just squozing it, we have filtered it and sieved it to contain pure, natural, it's, although it's still natural sugars in here, it still contains fructose. And the, the problem we've done here is, is we've taken away the goodness of what is found naturally within the pink grapefruits. And in essence, that is the fibre, which are the complex carbohydrates, which are known as polysaccharides. And they're, in essence, are very good for you and very good for your digestive system. And all acts as a slowing down mechanism so fructose and, and glucose actually absorb straight within your mouth. So as soon as that, that hits your back of your mouth, you've got enzymes in there which, which break that down and instantly puts it into your, into your bloodstream. Whereas if you're eating these naturally, it's not getting broken down until later in the stage. And that's why they always say complex carbohydrates are very good, good for you. So we talk about these myths of diets about carb-free, no, carbohydrates are essential. You, 
can live without them because they're not essential fatty acids or essential amino acids, which which in, in, in its name is essential, but still very, very important. And this is where there's a lot of diet books that come out to almost feed off these misconceptions. And in essence, if you just learn these core basics about food, you can improve your, your own nutrition. Now fructose is twice as sweet as sucrose, but the same calories. So that can be a positive thing. But we've also got to consider complex things with how fructose is also synthesized by our body. So it's our liver that actually processes that energy, you know. So it's, it's again, you've got, you've got to be careful when there's a lot of evidence that fructose can be a bad thing. Also dates is a natural sugar, but it contains a lot of fiber. And then we have things that are in the middle, which are kind of intrinsic and extrinsic, but more kind of like marketed on a, on a natural basis. And I'm pretty much, I am, you know, in for things like this, organic fair trade mol molasses. So if you do want to choose juices, I would recommend either juicing yourself and having a juicing machine and, and pulp that as much as you can. I've just done a lemon here and I've got all the, all the, all the, the fibre in there because I've actually pulped it properly and hard. Or if you are going to buy, buy the, with the juicy bits. But if you can, juice yourself. And if you can, even better, eat fruit whole. Even cut it up into little pieces and, and have it that way. 